show is that guess what? <laughs> Christ, who you call ignorant, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, his real name is Hamashiach Shai, and he was a so-called black man, according to the Bible, man. Right? Somebody got that? Read out. Read out. Somebody, whoever. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 13. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. But you hold on. You were asking the question. You said, who is this right here? We about to read it to you. So just pay attention, Elder. Go ahead. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Uh-huh. One light unto the Son of Man. Uh-huh. So who is called the Son of Man? God. That's Christ. Right? Yeah. Christ, right? His son, right? Go ahead. Clothed with the garment down to the foot. Uh-huh. So we had a garment that was down to the foot, right? Go ahead. And girt about the packs with a golden girdle. Uh-huh. His head and his hair again. were white like wool. Read it again. Read it again. His head and no, his hair. Read, read the other part again. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Uh -huh. And girt about the packs uh -huh. with a golden girdle. So right? he had a golden belt around his waist, right? Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Hey, so who got woolly hair on this planet, Elder? Nobody but us. Nobody but us, right? So Actually. look, hold on, select this. Right? That man don't have woolly hair. He got well, doggy street hair, hair, right? Oh. So that's strike one of them. Go ahead. As white as snow. So he had white he had white hair. He had gray hair. Yeah. Right? Just like the elder right here. See his beard, he got that gray hair. Go ahead. And his eyes were a flame of fire. And his eyes were a flame of fire, man. This dude got some old blue eyes, man. You know what I mean? That's strike two on him. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. It says his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, elder? Right. Go ahead. As if they burned in the furnace. Hey, so if you burn anything in the furnace, what color is it going to turn? Turn. Yeah, dark black, right? That's that's the color of Christ, right? Go ahead. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice as the sound of many waters, man. Christ was a, uh, the way they portray him, man, you know, they got him on the cross and he, he looking all effeminate, man. Christ was an austere man, according to the Bible, man. He was a serious dude, right? But they try to portray him and now they try to portray him as a so-called white man. Right, but then they tell you that color doesn't matter. They tell you color doesn't matter, but then they why did they portray him as this? Right, we're not saying that this is this is actually Christ, but this is a more depiction of what Christ would look like. Right, so this this is what we are here to teach our people. We are here to wake up our people in these last days. You see what's going on, right? You see you got uh, Russia, right, and Ukraine. You know, it's trying to pop it off, man. Right, we we out here to warn our people, man, because we know that time is ticking, man. Right, somebody give me Revelations 13 and 11. Hey, what I want to know, do you, you saw, is this a picture you were selling, or do you just you say what now? Was this a picture that you were selling, or you just no, 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 we not selling that. We we oh, trying okay. to get a word to people, man. Okay, well, uh, right? what you saying right now, I sort of kind of already know. I thought you were. Um, so do you what what? So what's your what's your father's ethnicity? What African American? African American, right? So why do we call ourselves black? Because is there a land of black? Uh, it's not, right? No. Right? Somebody give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Right? I'm going to show you something real quick. Right? So you say you're so-called black, so guess what? You actually would come from the tribe of Judah. Mm -hmm. That's that's the tribe. The Most High God doesn't call you black or African American, right? African American comes from two different white men. Leo Scipius Africanus and Americo Vespucci. Right? We don't come from two white men. Mm -hmm. Right? So then why are we calling ourselves that? Give me that Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Bring it out. And the ox knoweth his owner. Uh-huh. And, and the, the ass, ass his master's crib. So an ox and an owner, two dumb, strong animals. They know who their owner is. They know where they live. Right? Go ahead. But Israel. But who? But Israel. But who? But Israel. But who? But Israel. But the people on this sign, right? But Israel do not know. And it says Israel doeth not know, right? My people do it not consider. It says his people don't even consider who they are. We run around here calling ourselves Negro, black, right? Uh, African American, uh, niggas, right? Spicks. They calling ourselves all these different things. We don't even know who we are according to the Bible, right? Give me just somebody. Give me Jeremiah seventeen and nine real quick, right? Or seventeen and four, because this was prophesied that this was going to happen in these last days. So we got to understand is that we are, we're not, we not the uh, the so-called Gentiles, man. We are actual Israelites according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. 
we are these real people, man. And we got to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's why we living in this hell right now. Somebody got that? It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Bring it out. And right. thou, even thyself, no more for you. shall discontinue from thy inheritance. It said what? And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. So the scripture said that we were going to discontinue from our heritage. Why? That I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. And we didn't know America. And we came right over here, and we served our enemies. Right? For ye Wait, have on. kindled a fire in my anger. The Most High God said that we kindled a fire in his in anger, right? Which shall burn forever. Which is going to burn forever, man. Right. right? Somebody give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So let me, just so you, you got one more scripture. I just got to bring this out to you, right? And give me, uh, somebody give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 it's real the quick. book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel. So what's your name, brother? Otto. Otto? Yeah. All right, I'm Brother Otto. Samuel. Right, so, so Otto, now you know you are Israelite. The Most High God is going to speak to you, right? Go ahead again. What do if the Lord thy God require of thee? The Most High God requires something of you, right? Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God. You got to fear the Most High God. To Somebody walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. To love him. How do you love the Most High God? Living in his footsteps. Living in his footsteps. Hey, the brother just said it right there. Let's bring that out for him. This is the book of John. Hold on. This, I want you to know. You got to know this right here. Okay. This is the book of John, chapter 5, verse 3. Uh -huh. 5, verse 3. 5, yeah. verse 3. Yeah. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God right here. That, that we, we keep, keep his, his commandments. That we do what? That, that we, we keep, keep his commandments. What we have to do? That, that we, we keep, keep his commandments. commandments. Uh-huh. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not grievous, brother. So it said to love the Lord thy God. So now you know how to love the Lord thy God. Finish that out, uh the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12 uh -huh. and now Israel what do of the Lord thy God require of thee uh -huh. but to fear the Lord thy God uh -huh. to walk in all his ways uh -huh. and to love him uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul uh -huh. to keep the commandments to of do the what? Lord, to, to keep, keep the commandments what does the Bible keep saying? to keep, keep the commandments of the Lord that's what we gotta do man that's what the most high requires of us that's why we you see brothers out here with fringes on we out here we gotta keep the requirements Right? Why do you think brothers got beards on their face? Because it says that's a requirement that we're supposed to do. Right? We're not supposed to eat crab, lobster, shrimp. All that stuff is abominable. Pork is abominable. Uh, all praises, brother. Well, I'm different there, though. Huh? I'm different there. I do eat pork, though. We got to leave that alone, brother. That's why it's, it's not beneficial for us. The Most High God set law, statutes, and commandments for us to follow. He said that they're not grievous. Right? When he said that, he said they're not, they're not a grievous thing. That means they're not a hard thing to do. Right, but the, a lot of churches teach you that it's a hard thing to keep the laws. It's not. There's how many laws do you think there are? Not many, probably. There's 613 laws, statutes, mm -hmm. and commandments. Mm -hmm. Right, but you keep 40,000 here in America. Mm -hmm. Right, and do them with ease. Right, the Most High God only requires 613. Not all 613 require to you. Right, because some are for men, some are uh, for women, some are for the priests. Right, but we're supposed mm -hmm. to keep these laws. Come back as a fold the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the Israelites and keep God's commandments, right? And we gotta have our faith in, in Yahweh Shai about that. You gotta keep so you got any, you got any more questions, brother? What's that? Ah oh, man, all praise this but this is the knowledge. See a lot of people wanted to see this day. A lot of people wanted to come and see this day. Right, right, right. All praises. So, all right, what's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. One more, one more, one more for you. This is the one, one more. This book of Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve, verse thirteen. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So we about to sum up everything right here. Fear God, uh huh, and keep His commandments. Uh huh. For this is the whole duty of men. So this is the whole duty of Otto right here. It's to keep the commandments. It's to fear God and keep His commandments. Right. What? So read. Uh, I don't know if you've ever read the book of Deuteronomy. Read uh, Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, right? You can read 1 through 68. It's the blessings and the cursings. The uh, 15 through 68 is the curses when we Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28. It's 1 through 28 or 1 through 68. The 1 through 14 is all the blessings that the Most High God would bless us with, and then 15 through 68 is all the curses, right? If we don't follow. It. 28. 28. Just read 1 through 68. Read that whole chapter. It's going to tell you the blessings and the curses. Right? And that's how we know who we are. Right? And that's how we coming back into the fold, man. Right? And five years ago, I didn't know none of these brothers right here, man. 
right? But the Most High put us together, man, like a chess mm -hmm. piece, man, right. like a chess game. And we out here doing the work of the Lord, man. So now, guess what? These is my brothers, man. Like, 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 like from, like from the same mother, man. Mm -hmm. right? right. So this is what we got, man. This is what we doing, man. From the oldest to the youngest, man. We out here. We doing this work. We out here to wake up our people. Love me, right? Love me, y'all here. Uh, man, we out here. We usually on Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah, we so, back next Friday when I got more time. So Fridays we used to be like on Allen. Allen nighttime. At, yeah, nighttime. yeah, at nighttime, yeah. right? Because today is the Sabbath. Today is your Shabbat. You knew that, right? No, uh, but I knew um, uh, uh, my, my grandmother's mother. Uh, she uh, said that they had to start the day off. Right. So Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Shabbat. It's a holy day to the Lord. Mm. We're supposed to keep it holy. We're not supposed to do any work. Mm. No servile work. There should be no buying, cooking. All this stuff should be closed down right now. Mm -hmm. And everybody should be serving the Most High God. That's what we're supposed to be doing. So we out here to correct and wake up our people and do the work for the most high, right? So that's what we gotta understand, man. Okay, you got right. any other questions, brother? No, that's all, man. All right, man, we love you, man. You're an Israelite for the tribe of Judah. All right. All right, all right, all right. God, God. God, so like, you know, that's that's a beautiful thing, man, to get people out here, man, and, 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 and wake up our people in these last days, man. Right, because our people, the gospel is for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. The gospel is for y'all, man. That's the good news. The good news is for y'all. That salvation is coming through Hamashiach and Hawashai, man. Right. And it's not going to be through some so-called uh, doggy hair string white man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we got to come back. We got to understand who we are, man. And we know that this walk is not going to be an uh, a easy walk, man. Somebody give me Sirach 201. Bring right? it out. Sirach 201. Somebody give me Sirach uh, 4 and 17. Bring it out, all right? right? This is not going to be an easy walk, man. Right, huh? That's the spirit. Right. Get out. This is my son. Thou come to serve, serve the Lord. Lord. Hey, if you come to, to to come worship and come in truth, right? It says, do what? Prepare, prepare thy, thy soul, soul for temptation. And you gotta prepare your soul for temptation. You so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. It's not gonna be easy, man. Right. Right. Go ahead. Keep reading. Set thy heart aright. Set your heart aright. Your mind, man. Right? Go ahead. And constantly endure. And do what? And, and constantly, constantly endure. endure. Oh, give up. And, and constantly, constantly endure. endure. And you got to constantly endure in this thing, man. You got to constantly endure in this walk, man. Right? And that's what we out here to do. We out here to wake up the brothers and sisters of this nation, man, of our people, man. Right. And tell y'all to come back because it's not going to be an easy walk, man. Right? We see it, man. We was just riding down the street, man. We seen our brothers in low condition, man. Out here strung out, man, on the, on the, on the block, man. It's not a pretty thing, man. Right? But we out here to, to, to preach the gospel to our people, man. That's right, Doc. We out here to, to, to preach the good news to our people, man. Nah, bring it up. But a lot of our people don't want to hear it, man. Right? So we got, we got that Sirach. Sirach what? Sirach 4 and 17. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, finish that out. Come on. It says, make not haste in time of trouble. Uh-huh. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Right. God. Read that out for me. Look, this you is the listen book of Sirach, chapter 4, 10. verse 17. Proverbs 1 and 10. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways. Uh-huh, so wisdom. This is talking about wisdom right here, right? It says what? For at first she will walk with him by crooked ways. Right, so wisdom going to be doing like this for you, man. You're going to be have to try to chase wisdom, man. It ain't just going to come straight to you, man. Right, you got to work. You got to endure this thing, right? Go ahead. And bring fear and dread upon him. Uh-huh. And torment him with her dis with her discipline. And do what? And, and torment, torment him, him with her discipline. What do brothers be going through? And, and torment, torment him with her discipline. discipline. Hey, it be torment you with the discipline, man. Go ahead. Until she may trust his soul. Until she can trust you, man. Hey, wisdom is going to be doing all this to you, man. Going to be weaving in and out. Going to be doing all types of stuff, man. To make sure that you in order, man. Right. He's not, she's not just going to sit there and just let you do anything and everything to her, man. Right? She gonna try you, right? And if you and if you uh and if you act up, she gonna leave you, man. Keep reading on that. And try him by her laws. Uh-huh. And do what? <coughs> and try him by her laws. And try him by, by her, her laws. laws right? right. Keep going. Then will she return the straight way unto him. Then she do what? Then she will turn the straight way unto him. Hey, then she's gonna come to you, man. And then you're gonna be able to receive her, and then you're gonna you're gonna increase in your knowledge, your wisdom and understanding, right? Go ahead. And comfort him. And comfort him, right? Because now you know, damn, I'm an Israelite. I'm supposed to be keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. What? 
it's the so-called white man or the devil that the Bible speaks of, right? And we shouldn't be trusting our enemies, right? Go ahead. And show him her secrets. And show him all the secrets, man, that we know that Esau's kingdom is about to end, man. We know that this place is about to be burnt in thermonuclear fire, man, right? Go ahead. But if he go wrong, uh -huh. she will forsake him. She will do what? She, she will, will forsake, forsake him. him. Hey, man, if you do wrong, man, and you go, you start going back into the, the ways of America or Esau, she gonna forsake you, man. I mean, she gonna, she gonna leave your ass. When your ass is out to work one day, she gonna pack up all her stuff and be out, man. Right? Is that it on that? That's it, man. And give him over to his own ruin. And give him over to his own ruin. And Brothers was just bringing that out last night, man. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden now, you, you back in the world and you getting money now. Yeah. Right? You getting women, you getting all this stuff, man. And now <laughs> you, it's to your own ruin, man. To your right. own destruction, man. That's why the Bible says, uh, why gainest the world and lose your soul, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we got to understand, man. Somebody got, you got that Proverbs? Get that Proverbs 1 and 10 for me, all right? Book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10. Bring it out! All right. My son is sinners. Proverbs 24, 16. Consent, thou not. Don't keep going, all right? We're going to read it from the top, all right? Verse 10? Yeah, we're going to read it from the top. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 10. Bring right? it out. My son, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If sinners entice thee, it says consent not, right? So this, this is the stuff that wisdom is going to teach you, man, right? You, you think about, uh, bath, uh, what's that, uh, damn, boys in the hood, man, right? When Trey was about to go ride on the, on the other dudes, man, right? And, and it is mine, man, right? He thought about it, like, and he was just like, man, it said, it said, if, if the sinners entice you, consent right, or consent you not. to do blood, he said, consent not, man. Right. right. We're not supposed to be doing that, man. Your conscience is telling you, man. How many times brothers done been did some stuff, right, and your conscience is eating you up, right, but then you sit there and ignore it, like, nah, fuck that. I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? And you just go about your way, man. Right? Keep reading. Verse 11. If they say, come with us, let us lay, wait for blood. Cause they say, come, let us wait for blood, man, right? Come on, let's go ride on the other side, man. Mm. Let's go ride on the other side, right? Right. Now, right? Go ahead. Let us lurk privately. Privately, yeah. Let us lurk privately. 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 Uh huh. For the innocent. For the innocent. Without with, cause. Uh, out cause. Without cause, man. Right? They ain't got nothing to do with it, right? Because what it usually happens is they slide on somebody, they end up shooting, and they ain't got no aim, and they end up shooting a little kid on the street, man, playing it. Plan or a grandma sitting in the house, something, man. Right. right. This is stuff that we should not do. This is what we out here to correct our people, man, and wake our people up in these last days, man. Nah, right? nah. Bring it out. Yeah. So we gotta understand, man. You know that this this walk is not gonna be easy for us, man. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be an easy thing, man. Right. Right. You gonna fall, man. But you got the thing is, you can't lay down, man. You can't lay down and just and just sit down and be like, ah, it is what it is, man. Right? Yeah. Do that for me, y'all. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 16. Bring it up. For a just man falleth seven, seven times. times. It says what? For a just man falleth fall seven, seven times. times. Hey, man, you're going to fall, man, right? It's not going to say you just going to fall seven times. Seven is the complete number, man. You can fall damn 150 times, man. That's right, But I... you got to keep getting up, right? Go ahead. Right. And rise it up again. And do what? And rise it up again. No, he lays down. And rise it up again. Nah, you stay at home. And rise it up again. Hey, you get up again and you rise up again. Go ahead. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. Hey, but the wicked, they're going to fall into mischief. Right. They're just going to be like, man, listen, man, woe is me. I'm just going to do what I'm going to do, man. Right. Right? That, that's not the mentality that our people should have, man. Our people should, listen, you get up. Hey, man, I fail. Hey, dust yourself off, man. Get back up. Hey, brothers, man. Listen, man, I've been going through some stuff, man. Listen, man, I need y'all help, man. And I'm trying to get back on the, on the right path, man. That's what we need to go, man. Somebody give me Second Ezra chapter 7 uh, with the straight, uh, the straight gate. That one. All right, right 7 to 7. Real quick. All right. Somebody give me uh, Acts. Acts chapter 26 and uh, start at 13. Book of Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse seven. I got Acts. It says, the verse six. It says, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad hill, and is full of all good things. Uh huh. The entrance thereof is narrow, uh -huh. and is set in a dangerous place, place to fall. Uh huh. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand, uh -huh. and on the left a deep water. And a deep water, man. Right. That's what we living in right now. Right now we living in that in that middle between the deep waters right, right. and the fire right 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 we had the flood 
right? And we got these thermonuclear bombs that's gonna hit this place, man. Uh -huh. So right now we right in the middle, man. We trying right. to walk that straight narrow path. Hey, man. hey, I, we straddle on the fence, man. We, we straddling. We, we, we hey, trying to that tight beam, bro. Tight roping, huh? Over here doing this trying right not to now, fall man. into the you know into the saying? into the shit. That's man. what we trying to do, man. And this is what we trying to do too. We also gotta we gotta hold brothers up, man. Con, hey, that's brother, a fact. About to fall, Con, man. Come, come on, on brother. Here, right. right. It's like you uh like like your um. Like when you are uh, in the army and shit, and you right. running and shit, your brother, your fat, he fat as hell, he can't keep up. You gotta hold him up, man. Right, right. Come on, gotta, brother. Going, man. Get your, get that weight off your ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? Team, man. Yeah. Right. Teamwork. Keep going. This is a, a one only path between them both. Uh huh. Even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Right. This city now were given unto a man for an inheritance. If he never shall pass the danger set before him, uh -huh. how shall he receive this inheritance? Right. So if you if you don't even pass through, how, if you don't get this chastisement, how you even go? How you gonna learn and correct your ways, man? Right. And that's what we gotta understand, man. That in, in these last days, man, we being tried, man. We being tried even more serious, man. How about you? Yeah, so we out here to, you know, we out here to let you know, man, guess what? You gonna have trials and tribulations in this thing, man. That's right. But it's time you gotta get up, man. You right. Walk 